I think this shell is so ugly, but I don't know how else to roof it. Anyway, welcome back to another video. Today, I want to build a house, but every room is a different board game. So I have our shell of the house here, and I'm doing this a little bit differently because I feel like certain games work best to certain rooms, but I'm not telling you which ones just yet. So let's spin for the first one. And before I tell you what it is, why don't you subscribe, like the video, comment down below your favorite board game. And we are going to be doing the game of life for our first room. This I had planned for the main bedroom because I feel like the game of life takes you through life and like maybe this is for the parents. It feels so weird to not have like an exterior of the house done first, but I feel like maybe growing together could be the vibe here because I feel like in that pack, every stage of life is represented. If you've never heard of the game, it kind of like simulates your journey through life. And there's been lots of different versions, but the general idea is you, the player, travel through early adulthood, retirement, college, jobs, marriage, and maybe even children along the way. I think I mostly remember playing the 2005 version of the game of life, but it says the game was originally created in 1860. I think that this like weather dresser is kind of good because it does look like it's probably followed you through all of the stages of life. And I like this desk. I do remember I loved this game as a kid. Like it was one of my favorites ever. I'm kind of trying to go the more like maybe 2000s vibe just since like I said, the 2005 version of the game is the one I think I remember most. Now that I look at it, I'm pretty sure I had a SpongeBob version as well. This is like our main layout and something that I do want to do because these things are like important in the game. I want to get a couple birth certificates and in growing together, we have a marriage certificate as well. I feel like that is so perfect. One of the ways you can start out in the game is going to university. So I'll add some university homework. I think there are things with legal in the game, like lawsuit and suing people. So I'm going to add the legal documents and I would always be trying to retire with the most amount of money. So I'm going to add the duffel o cash. I was maybe hoping for some gallery art, but it's not looking like we've got that. I am going to add in our board game set. And I think this wall, I want to add these for family photos. I don't have a family living here. So just like imagine, just do your best to imagine. And maybe like these are the places we traveled. I do think I want a different color on the walls though. I think this orange could be kind of fun. I want to clutter this side of the bed more, but I know it might make it less functional. So we'll add some more clutter over here. So here is our bedroom inspired by the game of life. You definitely need a little bit of explanation to get there and get it, but I think it really works in my opinion. So our next board game we are going to do is guess who? It's basically two players each have a board of people. You have a card with your person and you have to ask the other person questions. You'd be like, is your person wearing a hat? Does your person have glasses? Is your person young? Is your person old? And you just kind of narrow it down and you're supposed to be able to guess who the other person has. I was actually going to bring us over here to another bedroom for that because my main idea with this is like like a normal bedroom, but with a bunch of portraits on the wall. I want to do this blue and red because the boards of the characters are very blue and red. One is blue, one is red. Is this silly? I don't know. I just thought this was such a fun idea for a video. I want to add the bookshelf, but will it be functional if I add the bookshelf? I don't even know. Let's add a little meditation stool. I'm trying to spice things up with the activities and things that I'm adding. But like I said, I kind of have a plan for what we're doing for the most part of this room. So I'm going in here just adding some clutter, maybe some hand lotion why not? Let's get some shoes in there. We'll add some glasses because you should be like, does your person have glasses? And on that same note, we will add a hat for is your person wearing a hat? So that is our base layout. Now I'm wondering if I can do this without having to go on the gallery at all. I think we'll be good. I think we're just going to get lots of portraits. Like I'm sizing them down so that we can fit even more. Isn't that perfect? And we'll get these girlies. There's so many. I need to add that person there. Can't forget these these icons. Did you think that I forgot? And then maybe we'll do the eternal portrait. You. On second thought, I'm not sure exactly why I thought this would work best as a bedroom, but here is our guess who themed room. And our next room is going to be themed on Candyland. Candyland was another absolutely iconic game. It was like truly one of my favorites. And something you're going to see throughout these board games is that the colors of green, blue, yellow, and red are very, very common. Candyland obviously is going to be our kitchen. I think what I want to do with the counters is do a different color for each counter in the order that they're on the actual board game. So it goes red, purple, yellow, blue, orange, green. Do a purple fridge, do our stove there, and we can do a red sink. Ew, this is looking 
bad. I think what I might do is I might change the color of the counter on that just because I hate the one that comes with this yellow one since we have the yellow oven anyway. Oh, what am I doing? What have I done? If you asked me if this was Candyland themed, I definitely would say no. I feel like it is niche knowledge that the order of tiles in Candyland is red, purple, yellow, blue, orange, green. I feel like the overarching vibe of Candyland, it's giving pink. It's giving rainbow, maybe? Uh-huh. See, isn't that just different? That's just something that you don't normally see. Will it melt when the heat radiates? Yes! It probably will. That won't stop us. I feel like we can get that guy. Maybe we need a bunny and our actual unicorn. Just put a butterfly on the wall, you know? Why not? Oh, we're getting somewhere. We've got cake decals. We can do our cake display stand. Cake picture. Some debug cake slices just sitting around, you know? That's great. Hey, we've got a cupcake. But we can get our candy jar. I'm gonna size that up. Go big or go home. We will include some fruit because that is nature's candy. And you are probably like, Sarah, why did you leave a big giant open corner in the kitchen? That, my friend, is for our cupcake machine. It's for our cupcake machine. Remember when I had to size it down? Not anymore. Not anymore. She can live in her full glory right there. And we can get our pictures from Tiny Living so you know exactly what you're getting into over here. And now that I think of it, I think we also should add an ice cream machine when we probably should add a chocolate fountain. That would be good. Does anyone have a guess of what this shadow is from? It's not on the floor. Oh, it's from this guy. Oh, that's weird. Well, you know, it's only on one side. That's weird. I'm gonna turn this one this way. So it's over there. We don't really have to look at it. We need our little s'mores guy. You'd find him in Candyland. So this is our Candyland themed kitchen. I actually really like what I did on the wall with the cabinets. Like looking back, I think it actually works very well for this. And our next room we are going to be doing is themed on Monopoly. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. I put this one on here because it's a classic, but I'm actually not sure what to do for the room. I was thinking maybe we could do the walls this like very pale green color. If you're not familiar with the game, it's like capitalism simulator. <laughs> it's basically players go around the board and like compete for properties. So my thought was maybe to use like very expensive furniture. I was actually always pretty good at Monopoly to the point where like my friends wouldn't want to play with me because I always knew how to win, which is a little embarrassing for me. I think I want to do this like upscale furniture to be like you have the Monopoly. Maybe you could do this rug for like any kind of these rooms, but like obviously it looks like checks on a board for a board game. And one thing on every side of the board, there's a railroad line that you can purchase. So I was thinking we could do some rail cars since we definitely have some of those. But like that can represent our train. And there's also jail in the corner. Like you go to jail if you roll a bad card. I'm wondering if I, what if I size down these cell doors and then we make a little jail? That's kind of excellent to me. Though I am realizing that I've laid this out. This is the dining area. This is nothing. You know what? Actually, I have an idea. I have an idea of what we can do for that. We'll size down the little jail bed and the little jail toilet, not the mini jail. And then I believe the jail tile on the board is like this burnt orange. So the best I can do might be this guy. There we go. There's our jail tile. We have our railroad. Okay. So here's the thing. You can also place houses and hotels on different tiles if you own them. My question is, what if I add in a little debug hotel and we'll add four houses because you need to have four houses to be able to place a hotel. And the symbol for the electric company is a light bulb. I know we have our little hanging guy and you can pull cards on the board if you land on certain spots and one of the types of cards you can get is called community chest so I might add in a community chest Simsational 2 you are you're perfect thank you I think I'm gonna add another duffel of cash to really represent what we're trying to do here Gwyn Neal on the gallery you also have some no CC monopoly art and I will add in some of these I wish we had a little monopoly man guy that we could put in here
here. We don't, but we have our strictly business gnome. He's so perfect for this. I know it looks a little boring, but I think that's going to be our Monopoly room. Famously, I will be back tomorrow to finish this house. Okay, hi, I'm back. It's the next day. I did some more thinking on the Monopoly room, and I always love the little pieces, and I know one of them is a cannon. I don't think we'll be able to have each piece, but I think we can have some. There's a cannon piece, there's a boot piece, so I'm wondering if I can add like a shoe to kind of represent that. Maybe I'll place this right in here so all we have is the shoe, so it just looks like one singular shoe. And there's also a race car piece, but I'm just gonna size down this little car. Ahaha, ah, there is also a purse piece, so let's add that over here. There's also a lantern. Now this one snaps to the wall. I'm just gonna size this down, and we've got a wheelbarrow. There's also a cat piece, and there is a duck piece as well, so I'll add a little rubber ducky there, and that looks a little bit better, so that is going to be our Monopoly living area. And for the next room, we are going to be doing checkers. Checkers is a classic. I couldn't not include it. Obviously, the vibe here is to go with red and black. I think this would work as a bathroom, mainly because we don't have to do much to convey what game we are talking about here. Oh yeah, look at that flooring. And what kind of sink should we do? I don't want to bring in white though. We do have a red mirror. That's good. We'll do that. Oh, and we have a red hand towel. This is classified in the black category, but is this not brown? Is this item not brown? You tell me. We can add a red thing of toothpaste on the sink, and we'll get a red soap dispenser somewhere around here. Okay, and on the wall, I'm not sure exactly what I should do. I'm wondering if maybe I could do this Moschino one on like the red tile and have something red on the black tile just so it looks a little opposite. I'm also making this little shelf up here, and I'm gonna just put some like random clutter on it. Can anyone reach these items? That is a person personal question, why would you ask that? We are in the business of having fun. That's a bit much for just a bathroom, wouldn't you say? I feel like if I put a bath mat, it messes up the vibe. So here it is, our checkers themed bathroom. I actually think the shelf at the top was a great use of like medium wall height, trying to make that work. And next we have chess. I actually was planning on chess for the exterior of the house because I felt like we could kind of really like lean into the like black and white vibes that we have going. And then you know what I really realize is that we have these wall tiles. Chess isn't even like black and white. It's more so like the chess pieces are black and white and the chess board is a lot of times like wood. Where it's like they're off white, they're like ivory. But for all intents and purposes, they are white and black. Now that I look at the board, I actually am wondering if we maybe should just do like black and white like this to represent our pieces. It's a bummer that these windows actually would look a lot better if they were black outside of this house. I don't think they look the worst in this room. I think they'd look kind of bad in these other rooms though. I am going to do wood on the front porch to be like the wooden chessboard. And the exterior of the house obviously includes some landscaping, so I'm going to throw in a little bit of that right now. I will say, I realized that the only game left that we have for the backyard, like that I didn't plan a specific room for, is going to be very interesting. So make sure you stay tuned until then. Well, that kind of looks like a chessboard. If I do that with the wood, we still have room for a chessboard. I'm just gonna scooch that in right there. And we're gonna pop in our chess team flag. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so I finally found, they don't come up when you search chess because they're not named chess. But the Immaculate Knight and the Immaculate Pawn. How does that look at night? Yes, wait, I'm so obsessed. Look at this. I think I want to sneak a couple in. Like, we'll just sneak one in there. We'll take a pawn, sneak it in there. And here is the exterior of our house inspired by the game of chess. I am just going in here super quickly and adding in an entryway since, like I said, I didn't have one specifically for the entryway. And so there is our entryway. And so our next room is going to be themed on Clue. It is going to be themed on Clue. And for this, I had no other idea than to do a kind of like dark academia office. It's a murder mystery game with this kind of aesthetic. So that's kind of why I was thinking we'd do that. Oh my gosh, it's like, what bookshelves do I do? I decided to use the book nook kit. I wanna do like a bus, like bestie, or should I say busty? <laughs> I will admit, I never really played Clue. I am obviously aware of the game, but it's not something that I ever really played too much of myself. So if I get some of these things wrong, please be kind. I do think maybe our portraits could make a comeback in here too. That seems appropriate. I was hoping we would have some detective career items. We have this magnifying glass from kids room stuff. I don't know why it's standing straight up. You know what? We do have some like evidence pieces. Like we have the glove. No, it disappears. Are you for real? No, it disappears.
disappears when you place it. I was really onto something. Oh, the flashlight works. Oh, the well-traveled rug kind of fits the aesthetic. I don't know what to do over here. I feel like I always lay out rooms and then I'm like, why did I lay it out like this? I don't think I have ever in my life used these curtains, but we're using them today. Also, I believe we call it Clue in America. I think it's called Cluedo elsewhere. I don't know where exactly elsewhere, but if you're like, what is Clue? Why are you saying Clue? It's not Clue. We call it Clue. Should I put a grave to represent that there was a murder? Maybe. Why do I feel like the knight has a place in here? I don't know. I really don't think so. Like with the aesthetic, I actually don't think that the knight has a place in here, but I put him in here anyway. So this is our clue themed office. So for our next room, we are going to be theming it on Scrabble. Scrabble is a word game where you have like little pieces, little letter pieces, and you can make words out of them. Each letter has like a point value and it's fun. It's fun with letters. And you can probably guess what my goal here is with this, what my idea. We are gonna say thank you to Sexy Angel 43 on the gallery. And I'm just gonna grab a bunch of letters. And for this, I wanted to do the dining room. And so the overarching color of Scrabble of the board is beige, okay? It's beige. But the box and another color I associate with it is red. So I was thinking maybe we do like a red dining table. Like that. Oh wait, that's like really good. I think these chairs are the same wood swatch. I think they kind of at the very least sort of match. I'm putting those scrolls there. Imagine they're like rolled up scrolls of the rules of the game. Obviously, since we did the table red, we can add a beige rug underneath. And so that's our actual dining area. However, my question is, what do we spell on the walls? Do we want to spell Scrabble? I feel like that's too easy. I think I want to spell something else. I'm sure like 90% of you are cringing right now as you realize what I'm spelling. No, I forgot the I. Oh my gosh. Hi, bestie. I'm gonna have to shrink these down. I have them placed kind of out of line because you manually place down the tiles. What should this wall say? <laughs> Sussel. Haha, <laughs> yib. Oh my god. And then we can put dag dag above the door because dag dag means like bye. Oh my god, we, should we find out what live, laugh, love is in Simlish and put it on here? No, I think that would- Wait, we know what live, laugh, love is in Simlish. It's like leave, leafa, lerve or something like that. It's leave, leafa, lerve. Okay, hang on. I need to size all of these down with the tool mod so we can fit it. I don't really know what significance this stuff has, but we obviously needed to fill the space. So here it is. This is our dining room inspired by Scrabble. And for our next one, we're going to be doing a room based on trouble. I like really strongly remember this game for some reason. I think it's because to roll the dice, you like click in this thing. I still to this day can remember the feeling of it clicking in. And I think this actually works really well as the main bathroom off of the main bedroom because there is a mashup of the game of life and trouble. And my basic idea for this is just do the four color quadrants. So it can kind of represent a lot of games because so many games have red, green, yellow, and blue as like their main colors for whatever reason. But I think to make sure we have like the four tiles, I'm gonna put a closet there. Now, if only we had one tile that had all four of these colors. Well, we could always do the classic of the spa day ones, but I think a lot of you hate these and you hate when I do them. I'll keep it real. I kind of hate it too, but sometimes when I need to use color, I have to do this. I, I can already hear the comments. I know you're all gonna say, I, that hurts my eyes. I know it hurts mine too. It hurts mine too. We're gonna do the sink here. I know I did a closet right there. It's fine, it'll work. And we're gonna do a yellow toilet. That can be blue. Maybe this, instead of just trouble, this can be like a representation of like all the board games that use this color scheme. Like the game Sorry and Twister. In the green quadrant, I'm going to add some green towel racks and a green hamper. And then on the back of the door, I'll hang a green bathrobe. Oh, and we also have the toilet plunger, the yellow one. Don't wanna do too much over here on the red sink. Just because I think your Sims still will be able to get into this closet. I think they go in on that side. So I might just add this guy. I added him in a bathroom recently. And then do a window there. Why does that look so dark? Now might be the perfect time to use one of these curtains that just covers up the entire window 
window or like a yellow blind like this. And I know that no texture on the floor and walls makes this look a lot more empty than normal. And I know if I get negative comments about one room, it's gonna be this one, but you can't stop me. There is our trouble, sorry, twister themed bathroom. And so do you know what that leaves us for the backyard? Operation. I put this on my list and it was the last one and I hadn't assigned it like a room. And I was like, oh no, that means we have to do it for the outside. So here is my plan, okay? We do an operating room. Thankfully in The Sims, we have a doctor career and part of that is doing surgery. I realize I'm here talking to you all, like you all know what operation is and I'm sure some of you don't. It's basically a game where there's a person and there's little things in the person, like wishbone, spare ribs, funny bone, and you're supposed to take those metal tweezers and remove them from the person, like you're operating on them. And if you touch any of the outline of it, like you can see they're kind of outlined in metal, the little openings, it buzzes and you lose or something. I never liked it because I hated the buzzing. It scared me. So we're going to do an operating room. It absolutely should be sterile and you would never do this outside. So let's get that out of the way. Let's suspend that disbelief and let's get to building. We have sinks right when you enter so that you can wash up. And then we have these counters for any surgery tools. We have our surgery table. I love that that's in the activities and skills department, like an activity, everyone. We have a literal heart for whatever reason. Just set that on the counter there. Maybe these are like some medical records. We need hand sani all around here. I hope there's no fires going on during surgery, but we'll add one, put this out here. Oh, we've got x-ray display also. Just adding some random things from the medical career, the thermometer, the tongue depressor, a medicine. Oh, the ear scope, let's add that. Oh, Benny Bones, gotta have Benny Bones. Trying to have an operation room without Benny Bones. A surgical light, how could I forget the surgical light? I don't know if that's functional, but you should not be running a, a doctor's clinic out of this house anyway. This is for decoration. Wow, this light is really good. Look how much that illuminates. Should we do an alert light as well? We'll do all that, that's great. Oh, we should do a little rug. And so this is our operation themed backyard area. You should not be doing operations in the backyard. However, we aren't done yet because I did say that I had something fun to do right here. And in my mind, it's really fun. What I really wanted to add was the Don't Wake the Llama gaming table because that's actually a tabletop game you can play in the game, in The Sims. And so famously, if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and comment Benny Bone. And if you did make it this far in the video and you're not subscribed, I am side-eyeing you right now. Unless you hated it, in which case that makes sense that you're not subscribed. But on the off chance that you did enjoy this chaos, go ahead and leave me a like. That helps me out and lets me know to keep making videos like this. And if there are any specific ideas that you'd like to see, do let me know that as well in the comments. As always, I would love to see you at a Twitch stream sometime. I stream at least four times a week and it's always so much fun playing The Sims with everybody. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!